As we begin to measure your design for your towers, we want to first take a look at the technical report and your list of material calculations. This is where you'll be recording all of your measurements. If we look at the list of material calculations sheet, the way we're going to fill it out is you're going to start from the left column and work your way across to the right column. For example, the first column on the left says line type. That would mean what type of line are you going to measure? Is it a vertical line, a horizontal line, or a diagonal line? The next column over says number of equal lines. This will be the number of lines that are the same length. This keeps you from having to measure numerous lines over and over again. We just take the number of equal lines that, for that particular type of line. We're going to take those number of equal lines, and this x represents multiplication, so we're going to multiply this number, which is the number of equal lines, times the length of each line. So here is where you only need to measure one of your lines that are alike. We're going to take the number of equal lines times the length of each line. That will give you your total length for those particular lines. Now, depending on your design, if you have two different designs, you will label them either F for a front view or S for a side view. So if, let's take a look at this example. I have four different designs here. And uh, to begin with, I have these two designs as identical. We do not need to measure both of these designs at the same time. This is where we can get confused with our measurements and calculations. So what I'm going to do is take my list of material sheet and cover one of the two views up. This is a front view, so when I do my labeling, I will label everything F for front. So as we begin here, what you see highlighted here in pink will be measurements for the front view. Starting with vertical lines, that's under line type, I take a look at this design and I can already tell I have three vertical lines, one, two, three. These three lines are the same length. So under across from vertical, under number of equal lines, this is where I get three from. So I will put a three for three equal lines. I'm going to multiply three times the length of each line. If you measure this line, this line should measure to eight inches in length. So that's where I would put the eight inches. So the number of equal lines were three equal lines. Each line was eight inches long. Then I multiply three times eight and I get 24 inches total and I put an F after it for a front view. So I know it takes 24 inches of my balsa wood in order to construct those three types of lines. I continue down on the first column again. If I have no more vertical lines in my design, which you can see I don't, then I move to the next type of line, horizontal. On this design, I have one here, one down here. So on my front view, I only have two horizontal lines that are the same length. So across from horizontal, under a number of equal lines, that's where I put my two. I have two equal lines. I take two times the length of each line. Each one of these lines, according to your layout, was three inches long. So this is where I get three inches from. Two times three equals six inches of wood for those two lines and I put an F after it for a front. I go back and if I have no more horizontal lines in my design in which this particular front view has no more than those two then I move down to diagonals. So under diagonals I have number of equal lines as you can see there was one right here and one right here so under number of equal lines I put a two down. I multiply two times the length of each line. Here's where I need my ruler and I'm going to measure my line to the nearest fourth and this line when it's measured comes out to eight and a half inches. I take two times eight and a half and I get 17 inches total and I put an F after it for a front view. Now I have all my design measured out. All I have left to do is go to the total length column and I, met, I add together 24 plus 6 plus 17 and I get my total and I write my total down here. It says total for one front. It took 47 inches. I get 47 from adding these three numbers together. 47 inches of wood to build one front. 
Now I'm going to take 47 and multiply it by 2 because I'm going to build two fronts. So now I know I need 94 inches of wood to build both of my front views. So that's where I would write my total for two, both fronts. Now I repeat the same process for the side view. So on the side view what I would do is I'm going to move this over and take a look at these two identical views right here. And now for my side view I'm going to do the same thing only this time in my total length box I will record only one side view measurement. So again all I have to do is measure one of the two designs. I do not need to measure both of them. I'm going to measure one side view here. So for one side view, if I can slide this back over again, we'll see what's highlighted in yellow here will be for a side view. So again, I start with my line type. So for this one side view, I'm going to have two vertical lines, one right here and one right here. That's where I get number of equal lines from. Then each line was 8 inches long. So just like I did above here, I'm going to multiply 2 times 8 equals 16 S because this is going to be a side view. I have no more vertical lines in my design. I go down to horizontal. And now in this design, I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 horizontals in this particular design. And I take each line was 3 inches in length. So I multiply 5 times 3 gives me 15 inches of wood for those th 5 pieces. And I put an S after it for a side view. Next I want you to take a look at my diagonals. As you can see, these sets of diagonals right here are somewhat longer than these sets of diagonals here. This is why I've included multiple entries or blank lines in here. So we're going to start with these diagonal lines here. I have one, two, so number of equal lines, I would put two times. And when I measure just one of these lines, it comes out to four and a half inches in length. So I put four and a half under number of length of each line. I multiply two times four and a half, gives me nine inches of wood with an S after it for a side view. It takes nine inches of wood to make that particular bracing. Now I have a separate line and I have two more lines, one, two, these are the shorter diagonals. Each one of these lines measured to be four inches in length, eight inches total when I multiply two times four, S. Now I have this one side view measured. When I add up 16 plus 15 plus nine plus eight, all my S's, I get 48 inches, 48 inches for one side view. I have to build two, so I take 48 times two, and I get 96 inches of wood I will need to build both of my side views. Now, finally, we have our totals calculated out here, and all we have to do at the bottom is come up with a grand total. The grand total is just adding up the total for both sides, plus the total for both fronts, and that's your grand total for building all four views. Now my grand total for my design is 190 inches on this example. We have a small problem because I'm going to allow you 240 inches of wood, if you can see that in the corner here, 240 inches of wood to build this design. So the next thing I want to take a look at is my total came out to 190 inches so I am about 50 inches under the allotted amount of wood I'm given. So at this point, I want to add to my design, I want to add more support. And if you can take a look at this design here, you can probably tell it could use some more support. So anything I add to the design, I am then going to add to my grand total. So when your grand total is within 5 inches of 240, it can be as less, the least amount could be 235 inches, or the most it can be is 245 inches. So when you're within, we call this plus or minus 5 inches, then you can bring your design to me and I will check your design and make sure you're ready to begin building.